Well, hello everyone. How are you doing today? Good? Good. Good? Good. Good. All right, I'm Jake, as you know, and I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about fast food and addiction. Fun stuff. Well, to start, I want to ask you guys a question. The question is, do you really know what you're eating when, when you go? Do, do, she, she does. She's nutrition. But, do you really know? In this uh, speech, I'm going to try to present all the various health risks, um, what's going up here in your brain, and the reasoning and the factors contributing to many of the reasonings why we eat these foods. So, now I'm going to ask you, right now, think about the last time you did have a cheeseburger. Pretty recent, or at least you thought about it. The smell, the taste, these are all things that trigger a lot of different chemical, emotional, and so I won't say spiritual, but I wouldn't say that. But it all happens in the brain. So, first I'm going to start off, we're going to dive into health risk. 70% of all Americans are overweight or obese. You know what that sounds like to me? It's a lot of fatties. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not to be mean, it's just the truth. I got my information from, from, where is that? Ah, fail. Ah, it's not there, cool. I was gonna slide that up. Obesity, Epidemic and Clinical Dependency was the article I found it from. And what it said, was saying is that most Americans are fat. We're a fat. We're a fat nation. And it's, it's sad and sickening. It's sickening. A little exercise goes a long way. So the health risk. Not only will you get fat, obese, la la uh, loss of movement, loss of activity, and loss of interest in stuff that was once interested in you, interested in doing. You have type 1 diabetes, type 2 diabetes, stroke, heart disease, and you're stressed. Why do we eat it? Why do we eat, why, why do we eat the burger? I know why I eat it. Along with this, the hamburger, what you're getting, you're getting 550 calories for one of these guys. That's, that's like three other of my meals a day in this thing. 29 grams of sat saturated fat, 10 grams of saturated fat, 29 grams of total fat. On top of that, 970 milligrams of sodium. That ain't right. And 46 grams of carbs. So it's it's just it's it's delicious and repulsing. I'm just gonna open it up and dissect it. Look at that. That's nice. <laughs> That's nice. So just take a little smidge. Yeah. So which brings me to my second point. Addiction and dependency. Not only are the health risks there, what they don't tell you is what they put in it. They're putting chemicals, additives, coloring, smother. It's a nice word to say. Some stuff I can't even name. It's it's terrible. And what goes on when you're eating the hamburger is your neurotransmitters are firing off. And the neurotransmitters are secreted in the brain and what's going on deeper in the brain, the hypothalamus is acting on these chemicals. And the hypothalamus controls your hunger. So think of the hypothalamus as your hungry button. When that thing goes on, you're gonna eat. Mm. Like the cookie monster. Yeah, the cookie monster. 
So when the hypothalamus is activated, you're going to eat, and you're going to eat a lot. And what these fast food restaurants put in their food actually slows the closing of the neurotransmitters of the neurotransmitters from shutting down. So you're going to keep being hungry. So I ate one of these pretty quickly. I could eat this in... But, um, I could probably eat it in maybe two or three bites. You know? Maybe two or three bites. Ugh. Two or three bites you can get for that. 550 calories already there in your gullet. And you have to digest that. Go run a, go run a mile. But that's still not going to be enough because there's french fries with that. And that's another 150 calories and another 1,000 milligrams of sodium. So back to the neurotransmitters, it's what's going on, they're firing, and the connection to continue eating is still made, which leads to overeating, which in turn leads to obesity. So I'm going to keep eating my french fries, and I'm going to keep eating my hamburgers, and I might order three. That's over, if I do the math, it's... It's about 1,300 calories right there. That's half, that's half your day. So think about that the next time you go and take a nice hamburger. And my third point I really would like to make is, once again, why do we eat it? I eat it because it's delicious. But the reason many families eat it is because that's what they can afford. If I had a... If I had three little little guys running around, I'd go to McDonald's because this only cost me $3.89. That's cheap. That's that's really freaking cheap. So I would I would buy a bunch of those and the kids don't know any better. So which leads to fat kids, obesity. Childhood obesity, which is always funny to look at. Sorry. Um, so it's, there's convenience, it's every, you can find, you can find a, a McDonald's in every other square block, so the fast food and restaurant biz definitely uh, wants to keep the food and keep the idea of eating more in their, in their, um, in our minds every day. The fact that it's so cheap, many families find it's the only way to sustain life and, and livelihood. So, what have we learned here, guys? No? What? What did you learn? Do not eat. Don't eat? Yeah. Okay, thank you. I wasn't trying to hammer it yet. So, what have we learned? We learned about what is really going on when you take that juicy, delicious mm, hamburger bite. It's it's just great. It's it's delicious. It's awesome. It's like a little piece of heaven. When I bite into that, it feels like it's like the best analogy would be like it's cocaine. It's your taste buds. It's the whole experience. You're just you're just you're there, and you're going to stay there for a while, and then you're going to buy another one. So there lies the problem. Addiction. Yeah. Okay. So to conclude. Many health risks are present, and addiction is present, and think the next time you want to go cheap and get yourself a hamburger. I hope you enjoyed.